Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Despair Girls. And we are finally leaving this tower. <sighs> now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. But being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't! If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl! I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything! Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So... You'd even kill your friends? What? Friends? Oh, man. Are you really gonna go there? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But, but that's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Hmm. And then Hendrix himself came to my live concert three times! In my dreams, anyway. What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! Hey, by the way, when is that meat party with the pool of blood in hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once-in-a-century event! I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket! <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright magical! It has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart! <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like, Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Or maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Cheese and subject it into my witty banter! You high bastard! Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while. But I guess not. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. Advisor? We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of them if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! If Monica is fine with it, so am I. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. But instead of right 
to kill them. Isn't it more like duty? We promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool. There's no way I can lose now. I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons. <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up. Right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoops! I didn't mean like grown, like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say? You guys think so? Obviously, <laughs> I am included in this. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much, but talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! <laughs> Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine, just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, uh, gee. <laughs> I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What <laughs> are you nuts? She doesn't like unpeeled, er, yeah, unpeeled chestnuts. This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah. <sighs> As expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Take this! Take this! <laughs> Useless servants deserve to end up like this! Oh no, you're throwing delicious cake at him? <laughs> good, good! Go for it! Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. <laughs> hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve, saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. <sighs> And that's why you don't have any friends! Whoa, low blow. What? Leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Man. I mean, on one hand, Kamaru is really annoying with her. I... I, I shouldn't say annoying. She's... She's been saying this whole, I'm just a normal girl, I can't do anything, which is, I could see how that would grate on Toko's nerves. 
But on the other hand, like, Toko is being extremely prickly about the whole friends thing. And I mean, I get, I get where Toko's coming from on that point, but sometimes you gotta internalize maybe a little bit of your thoughts, just a little bit, so that way you don't rub people the wrong way. I mean, it's good that Toko's honest on one hand, but on the other hand, she's really not making it as easy on herself by... by doing this. Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. What I'm saying is both of them are wrong. <laughs> Using that word normal as an excuse, uh... always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You're nothing like your brother. Well... It's not like I really acknowledged him, either. Shogunai. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well... I'm under the impression that- oh, Sparkly! I have a feeling there's gonna be a Monokuma attack here. I have a feeling that, um... <gasps> oh! Tai Chin Chin! Tai Chi! Fujisaki, a smarty pants demon with short curly hair. It's not really strong, but it's super smart to make up for it. Hunting it around machines is not a good idea. It's pretty serious, but it's still just a demon. I'll use my sexy charm to trick him. I have a feeling we are gonna fight some Monokumas. over here too. Brimming girl power. I mean, sure, why not? I guess I wasn't gonna get attacked. It just felt like it. I see you. I see you. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't see that one too. I, I was actually scanning like across here and I didn't see it and then I was like, oh, that's the way I came from, but it's it's gone and that's when I saw the sparkle and I was like, oh, you little sneaky. You almost got away with it. Labyrinth of Monoku Man. Will you be able to get through the Labyrinth of Monoku Man? If you beat it, you will win a very nice reward. Monoku Man's Labyrinth? Break. Break and move. Okay, so 
What's going on here? That's Nagisa. This is Jotaro. That's I. Uh, I don't remember his name. Masaru. This is Kotoko, and this is Monica. Great. Hmm. The game again. I can only use dance and move, so I need to I need to activate that thing. She's fighting a slime monster. She's attacking a slime. She's fighting a slime. Very Dragon Quest. Is it still going? Jeez, enough already. <gasps> Sparkle! My beloved son, I sent my son off to school this morning and he came home this afternoon wearing some kind of helmet I couldn't figure out. I thought it was some kind of joke. When I asked him about it, a Monokuma showed up out of nowhere and attacked me. I dodged the attack by a hair, picked up my son, and brought him here to hide. On the way, I discovered several things. It's not just my son. The children throughout the town are all wearing them, and they're all killing adults with Monokumas. It's as if my son changed into a completely different person. He just gives me a creepy laugh. I'm not even sure he recognized me. I can tell he's planning to kill me. I remember the time I struck my son, just once. But I love my son. I'm sure my son knows it. There's no way he would kill his own mother. So, yeah. It's confirming what I thought the, uh... Monokuma helmets are, are controlling them. Destroy them all with one explosion. Okay, so I need to attack the one in the middle there. That's pretty simple and straightforward. So there's, they're all partying, and there's like some sort of angel demon thing? I don't know. Cloud dragon. He's standing outside of the castle. Oh, he's blushing as he's taking Monica along. Whew, almost missed out on those coins. Okay, back to what I was looking at. So he's, he's blushing while taking Monica along. There's a treasure chest and loot. I don't know what Jotaro's doing there. Those two are walking along together. It's over here. Oh, there's a sparkle!
That means there's one more hidden kid left. Oh man, that kid kind of scared me. Are you the one who killed your mom? Over there? Paralyze. It's time for a tutorial. It appears you have obtained Paralyze. Paralyze is a truth bullet that shorts out Monokuma's electrical systems. Also, enemies hit by the ammo discharge electricity, damaging nearby enemies. And to top it off, if the enemy happens to be standing in water, the electricity will damage all enemies touching the water. You understand science, right? Go on, give it a try. Wipe them all out in one shot. You sure received a nice reward. Are you still going to run away? Even with all your weapons? Still think you can't fight? I believe that's the implication she's been giving us. I'm not doing this because I want to. And admittedly, that's true as well. Okay, what's going on here? They find her trapped. Oh, wait. They found her trapped in a cage? And then they let her out? That way's the right way. But I want to go this way. Hey. Hey, did you hear about this? Future Foundation is behind the whole thing. The kids, the Monokumas, everything. The incident has been calming down and Future Foundation is losing influence. They're probably trying to regain power by causing a problem and taking credit for the solution. Are you an idiot? What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard! Of course they aren't! What? You know for sure- that for sure? I've also heard that the whole tragedy was their doing. Either way, those guys are not to be trusted. Don't mess with me! You, you gotta be kidding me! If the Future Foundation shows up to rescue the adults, I better not see you asking for help. <laughs> It'll never happen. Alright. Can I? I think that's the best I can do for now. Saki feels like socking all the socks. nervous whenever I go down like a long hallway of filled with nothing. Like I know it's supposed to be a boardwalk, but I just feel like there should have been like a sparkle or something to break up this. Well, it looks like it continues on over there, so I'm just gonna have to trust that I didn't miss anything. I mean, I just got the uh, Nagusa. Just one of these after another. How's this one go? The shielded one. It won't work even if we get a direct hit on them. I did it. Dang it. I didn't pay attention. No one to blame but for my but myself on that. Thank <laughs> you. 
well, it looks like I can still make, like, mistakes here and not, like, fail at the, uh, the thing. Let's see, someone with the crown? Okay, w what's the story here? There there's a story. I'm guessing it's gonna start here. There's a witch. And turned a frog into a person? Or did she... Or did she get turned into a frog? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone else got turned into a frog. And then Junko is feeding this frog cake. Alright. The frog is broken hearted because he's looking at himself in the mirror. Being nice to the frog. And the frog turns into a prince. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be Jotaro? It's really hard to understand that. What way am I supposed to go? That way? Okay, then what's at this dead end? Oh, there's a sparkle over there. Excavator. almost purposeful. Um, okay, I feel like I'm getting towards the end of this, and I am looking for Monica. The hidden kid Monica, I mean. Oh, skill shop. Roger! Beautifully. Whee! Abundantly. Unlocked shining. Um, ornately, gorgeously, sincerely, and correctly. Yes. Awesome. I feel like I could buy some of this stuff for Genocide Jack because I'm. Thanks for your business. I'm doing pretty good on. Um, doing pretty good with the. Truth bullets, anyways. There's gonna be like two more truth bullets, but as you can see, I kind of have like each one of these have an excellent, which I'm guessing is the highest rating that I can possibly get. So I don't think I need to worry too much about buying um, these words for Kamaru. Lots of save points. I feel like I really should be seeing the Monica thing right now. You... Uh, are you really planning on going back? Dance! Sweet. Future Foundation, whatever. Future Foundation. That's what they call themselves? What future? I'm gonna crush those hypocrites. Are you kidding me? I haven't seen... Come on. Come on. Come on. You just just look for sparkles. Oh, I almost missed that. How to kill demons masterpiece number three. Tie the tongue with a rope and then tie it to a really fast car to kill them. Nail a hundred gazillion nails onto them in a cool pattern and then they die. Make them drink a lot of water and then lock them in the freezer. Make them eat their own poo-poo and kill them with fire. Ta-da! They'll never expect it! I mean, I guess into the sewers. 